the Jar 5 Dominator. I've been trying this weapon time and time again as I really wanted to like it, but its lack of power and stun alongside the weighted aim was hard to justify bringing it along before. This was the first weapon I wanted the moment I saw it in the Premium Morbot, especially when most of their base game weapons didn't feel that great to use. This weapon is now incredible with the most recent patch, but why should you give the Dominator another try? Well, let's talk about this weapon a bit, especially now that it's had some balance changes. Before, this weapon's slow movement aiming really hindered it, especially with the damage output that it had alongside not having much stagger to really make up the cost of such a weighted aim. With the most recent patch, this weapon saw two major changes. First, it got a damage increase from 200 to 300. That is a 50% increase, which is quite large when you think about it like that. The second thing this got was increased stagger. This can stun like no other now, which is insanely nice for some of the more aggressive targets like Stalkers and Brood Commanders when they charge at you, as well as any kind of Devastator on the Automaton side. I will say that the weighted aim is still there, which a lot of people really don't like, and I can't blame anyone for it since it's such a hard adjustment to get used to, especially when most of their weapons are so reactive to your aim. I think that the changes outweigh that negative now. This is similar to other weapons and being able to take down small trash mobs in one shot, but where it really shines is those medium armored targets. Brood commanders get taken out in two shots and has that same stagger feel that the slugger used to have before the patch, which is great if that is why you're using that weapon previously. This also takes out hive guards in three shots to the front plate armor, which is nice to not really have to worry about them going around. My favorite thing though is this has the potential to one shot stop. Absolutely. I've had it happen a few times, I believe it's a certain part of the head where it happens, but haven't been able to confirm or replicate it too often as it kind of seems a bit random. When I have done it many times with stalkers fresh out of the nest, you'll most likely average a bit more like 2-3 to three on them since they move quite a bit, but the potential to take them out in one is incredible, especially considering how annoying these guys are when they sneak up on you and fling you across the map. The stun also prevents Bile Spears from spitting at you as well, which is great and counts as explosive damage, so you don't have to just shoot them in the face, you can shoot them anywhere and take them out pretty quickly. Typically, it's going to be about 3 shots to the face and about 4-5 to five to their Bile Sack. This is absolutely terrible at taking out Shriekers because of that drag. I would say that if you are going to try to take a nest out, I would advise taking it out from a distance if you are using this weapon, as it's really hard to lead a target with the heavy aim. but. That would just be a recommendation, obviously. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder than it probably should be. A little side note as well, even though it's technically explosive, it can't deal with bug holes or bot outposts, even though it has its own explosive category in the menu, which is a little bit strange, but it is what it is. Lastly, you typically wouldn't take out charges by shooting the leg anymore because there's just better ways to do so. However, if you do tank off the leg with a stray shot, you can literally blow the leg off the charger with a couple of shots with this weapon. Typically, I was able to do so in about 2 to 3, depending, which is nice, but if you need to take out their exposed area, that's one way to do it, especially if you get that stray shot that misses the head. Overall, I think this is performing incredibly now on bugs with these new changes, and I am a big fan here. As for the automatons, this is incredible as long as you can be precise. Most weapons can take out any of the bots with one good headshot, but the nice thing about this is the stagger. With the amount of the heavy devastators and rocket devastators that can come in from drops and being able to stun them is absolutely great because this prevents them from obliterating you out of existence which is kind of nice you can also take out these scout striders if you shoot them in the center joint area just under the pilot seat i've typically seen them go down in about three shots or so but not always i've sometimes gotten two as well this is nice because you don't have to use your support weapons or grenades if you don't want to I'd recommend using them for crowds of scout striders, as that may come around, as it's better going to it's going to be better for you overall, and you know, you're not gonna get completely shredded by a group of them because they can actually be pretty lethal. You can take out Hulks with this to their back battery or vent in five shots if you can get behind them and don't happen to have a support weapon on hand for any reason or it's out of ammo. Um, this can also take out tanks and cannon towers. The tanks take a bit more than ideal using most of the mag to actually take them down, but with how slow tanks are, you can really use whatever if you like on tanks, um, as long as you have kind of a good spot to get around it. Otherwise, I'd recommend using a support weapon or a stratagem on them most of the time. As for the cannon towers, it's about the same. It's going to take around the whole magazine in order to actually take them out. This can also take down the new gunships as well, but it's going to take quite a lot. Uh, I would really advise against it just because, I mean, you're going to be taking a really long time and there's much more efficient methods of doing so, and it's probably going to cause you a lot of strain, really. So, especially with the heavy aim, 
uh, you're not really going to have too much opportunity to really hit them very often, so I would really avoid this. But I thought it was a very interesting thing that it could take them out nonetheless. I haven't gotten to really test this on the new Factory Walker Elite enemy, but it most likely won't be able to do much on them as they are similar in heavy armor to the Bile Titan, if not more, which you definitely don't want to be using a primary weapon on. So, some small things here as well. This can take out Spore Spewers in about 5 shots. So this is similar to the Scorcher since they're both explosive. So you're going to get about the same exact mileage out of this that you would out of the Scorcher in terms of those. This weapon also does have a bolt that you can utilize when reloading from the empty magazine. So this will benefit from the early magazine reload. It takes about 2 seconds to reload on a partial magazine, where the reload on an empty magazine will take you around 3 seconds, which is a decent difference, although both are quite quick overall. You could save a bit of time here. Again, this weapon I honestly didn't think that I would ever come back to, and admittedly the jank of the aiming is still there. So this will still not be a weapon for every player, but I do believe that this weapon deserves a second chance from those who are willing to try it. Since the buff made it more worth the cost of those downsides, I think this is an incredible choice. Overall, I've been picking this weapon even among most of the new weapons in the newest Warbond. Although I do want to compare the Eruptor to this, even though they are different playstyles, they both have that very heavy gun type of feeling, so I'd like to compare the two. Hopefully this video made you consider checking out the Dominator once more, but if not, I still thank you for watching and would love for all of you to let me know in the comments how you're feeling about the new balance changes, as well as your favorite weapons from the new Warbond, or just in general. So I will see you in the next video.